Manchester United have won the game away at Swansea, three goals to one, three goals in the first half. Paul Pogba, who I didn't think was going to play, started the game. Maron Flaney started the game, I was sure that he would start, but the shocks were Phil Jones coming in and Ashley Young coming in. We've got some problems, apparently Luke Shaw couldn't play today. Daily Blind is probably knackered because he's played a lot of football of late. And I'm overall really pleased with the victory. The Paul Pogba getting a fantastic goal in that first half. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic striking twice. The Kriggs have been out for both these players over the last few weeks, but they've both answered the critics today. The only worry is that obviously Zlatan Ibrahimovic getting booked late on in that second half, which is a massive blow because he's going to miss the game against Arsenal now. We haven't seen Rashford or Martial today, which was disappointing because we could have brought them on at 3-1 up just to see the game out with their pace. We brought Jesse Lingard on to see it out with his pace in that second half, but it's disappointing because he was on a yellow card. Well, he, if, he hadn't, if, if we'd taken Zlatan off before the yellow card, it wouldn't have happened, which was disappointing. But I'm not getting too downbeat. We've won the game. I'm not getting carried away either. Swansea are a poor side and a down second from bottom. So... But we've got the three points. We've just got to kick on from this now. Too many times this season we've won a game and then we haven't kicked on the next game. This is a big few weeks. It's been an OK weekend for Manchester United. Winning our game after a Europa League game, which is never easy for some reason. So far, no team has won after playing in Europe. As far as I know, Leicester City have still got to finish their game. But none of the other teams have got a, got a win anyway out their games. Manchester City drawing. Arsenal and Tottenham drawing as well, which were positives for Manchester United. It's closed the gap on them teams a little bit. Even if we're not going to catch them this season, you still don't want the gap to get too big. And who knows, if we do, were to go on a run after Christmas, then one of them teams, I still feel, will drop off at some point. It's whether Manchester United have it in them to catch one of them, go on a run and get into that top four. That's the, the only thing I can hope, that one of them will slip away. Obviously, Chelsea have won this weekend. But... I'm, I'm still I'm still confident, I've, as I've said before, I'm confident. I was confident that Louis van Gaal would get it right, and whereas he didn't get it right in the end, he still won us the FA Cup, still got us some silverware, so it wasn't completely bad. And I, I was backing him for long, long periods. And I, I'm, I mean, Jose Mourinho, as well as Louis van Gaal, they've both got really good track records. Jose Mourinho's won trophy after trophy wherever he goes. He's just got to clear out a lot of dead wood. It was never going to be an overnight thing, but we've... We are, I think we have seen progress this season. We've seen a few games where we've scored three or four goals in. One, three or four, one. In a lot more games this season than we were under Louis van Gaal. Under Louis van Gaal, we would never see a 3-1 away at Swansea. We would hardly ever see a 4-1 at home against Fernabachi. A 4-1 against Leicester. A 3-1 against, um, against Bournemouth. You just wouldn't have seen them sort of results on a regular basis which is positive for Manchester United. I think, though, this season is going to be a bit like this, where we'll beat one team, like we have done today, a decent result against Swansea. Also get Wayne Rooney back in the starting lineup again today in the Premier League, which, which obviously, Jose Mourinho wanted to get him back in the team after scoring that goal in the week. He's actually got himself two assists today. Hopefully he can kick on, maybe hit a bit of runner form as well. Because the other players aren't particularly hitting them, hitting it as well. Martial isn't really doing a lot at the moment. Had a few flashes of brilliance in that game against Fernabachi, but was pretty poor second half. Rashford out wide hasn't really hit the ground running as well. So it does give Rooney an opportunity if he comes into the team, if he can take it still to claim that place back in the starting lineup. But I think we are going to be a bit inconsistent this season until Jose Mourinho can find his best team. As I've said before, I think it's similar to, to Man uh, Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp last season. They'd lose one game 3-0 away at Watford, would draw 2-2 two -two at home to West Brom, and the other week they'd smash someone 3-4-0. or four -nil. I think it's a bit like that for Manchester United. But as the season goes on, I think we're going to get better and improve. But both of Jose and Bruno's signings today have scored goals, so it is positive. Jose and Bruno has brought in two players that have improved the team. Paul Pogba is now onto four goals. So it hasn't been too bad for Paul Pogba, has it really? Slatan and Brimovic, I think he's on about five or six league, I think it's six league goals now. So it hasn't been terrible. I mean, you look at Falcao. Falcao only got four goals in his whole Manchester United career. So it, it could have been so much worse for Manchester United with these signings so far. Paul Pogba is coming into a more physical, more demanding league 
it is a bit easier in Italy, so it was going to take him time. He's still only 23 years of age. He is only a, a midfield player. He's not a striker, so he's not going to get 25, 30 goals a season. We haven't bought a Lionel Messi type player. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. Are you pleased with one? The only downfall is obviously Zlatan and Rumi missing that Arsenal game and them scoring that goal in the second half. I was hoping for a clean sheet. But anyway, we move up the table. I think we move above Everton now, which is a positive thing. If we can get a positive result, a win against Arsenal at home, we would only be, I think, three points behind Arsenal, which would be absolutely amazing. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.